You write about the paradox of defining life. Why does it seem to be so easy and so complicated at the same time? You know, all the sort of classic definitions people want to use just don't work. Mm -hmm. They don't work in all cases. So uh, Carl Sagan had this wonderful essay on definitions of life where I think he talks about aliens coming from another planet. If they saw Earth, they might think that cars were the dominant life form because there's so many of them on our planet. And like humans are inside them and you might want to exclude machines, uh, but any definition, you know, like classic biology textbook definitions would also include them. And so, you know, he wanted to draw a boundary between uh, these kind of things by trying to uh, exclude them, but they were naturally included by the definitions people want to give. And in fact, what he ended up pointing out is that all of the definitions of life that we have, whether it's life as a self-reproducing system or life eats to survive or life requires compartments, whatever it is, there's always a counter example that challenges that definition. This is why viruses are so hard or why fire is so hard. And so uh, we've had a really hard time trying to pin down from a, a definitional perspective exactly what life is.